Hello, my name is Day. In today's video, we'll be going through a formula for you guys because a lot of people are wondering how much attack is 1% damage and is it worth to build Guardian Soul to give a little more stats if you already have like As for Soul or whatnot. Uh, we'll be taking a look at that and uh, let's see. Okay, so you see the formula right here, the side right here. I'll be linking this in the description and you just have to put in four value and I'll explain on everything even though it has explanation right here just you know just to walk th you through again okay so what you have to put in first is your base attack and as the explanation down here says the attack value showing the character stats window was no weapon no unit or no ring uh it didn't mention about mag your mag should be in here because your mag like it does consider a base attack stats so let's see my character right here okay take off unit Take off the ring. Well, the right ring doesn't matter. It doesn't give you any stats. All right. So take off weapon. See how much attack I have. One zero thirty three. Okay. One zero thirty three. So I should put it right here. Ring and okay. Next one is uh, unit and ring attack. So attack from unit and ring, including a fix, but no SSA. So your SSA should be in the base attack because it does consider raw sets. Okay, so unit right here. We'll, go, we'll be taking a look at what in a second. Uh, 20 attack. Okay. So 355, that is excluding my time ability so I'm not gonna count time ability right now because it's not all the time I'm gonna do armada okay so 355 on the rear 355 on the arm 355 on the leg so total should be 1065 yep 1065 and then adding on to this one 20 attack that's 1085 so 1085. Next one we'll be looking at the weapon base attack. Weapon base attack should be minus 50 of that. 2828. Okay. And then I have 50 attack on a fix. So the next one will be the weapon attack a fix. Monster stats and Bouncer stats gain from the extended weapon craft mastery should be included here. Okay, so I don't know if anyone's still using that, but okay. Uh, so I only have 50, that's the thing. Hey, so make sure you put four of these correct, like what number goes where, you have to understand. It does have explanation down here too, tell you how to do that. Alright. Uh, the buff percentage is set because it just assumes you have team tree, shifter, and then shifter drink. Okay, all together is 115.48% damage increase. Enemy defense if you're fighting level 96 enemy, put in this value, which is on the default value, which is already there. And uh, elemental weakness for enemy, most of them are 20%. Okay, so there's that. So in the attack type, um, yeah, if you are like using technique, then just, you know, solve this one to attack and PA, just do PA, like default, which I'm a gunner, so I put PA right here. All right, so the number are right here. So it tells you how much is 1% for me is 78 attack. So I'll have to build 78 attack to get like one percent damage so if i were to swap to guardian soul again from astro soul again like 105 attack so that's like less than two percent damage like one point something 1.2 1.3 it's very very low because diminishing return i already put a lot of attack already the more attack you put is not going to give you that much percentage damage so 
Please do not get fooled by the number. Oh, it's big number. Yeah, yeah, I want a 300 attack. The, the moment you go to like 250 attack, 200 attack, it's good enough. You build another 300 attack, it's like less than 4% damage increase or something. It's not really worth it. The moment you get to about 150, 200, like 200, is, it's, it's okay. Why are you pushing for Guardian Soul for a little more attack? Does it do anything for you? Yeah, well, yeah, a little bit. Like 2% damage, 1% increase. So ask yourself if you really have the money or you want to do Guardian Soul. There's your answer. That's it for this video. My name is Day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.